Right, so I am now going to make a little movie about how to insert pages in Windows Journal. Well, it's easy enough to insert a page before your front page. You go to insert, you choose new page, and you get a page before your front page. However, quite often what you want to do is insert a page after the page you're on the moment. So, one of the things you can do, if you're on the last page, you can click on this double arrow button in the bottom right. As long as you're in writing mode, I don't think it works in hand mode. And then you get a new page. A new page. At the end. That's all very well. But suppose this is the penultimate page. In the first one, what you actually want is a page between these two. Well, if you're on the penultimate page, then it's no good in setting a new page because I've done it before. However, you can get onto the page after where you want one, then go to insert new page, then you'll get a new page between the two. However, I find that a little bit inconvenient. So this is the new penultimate page. So I sometimes use the Add New Space tool. Here we go. And I deliberately add a bit more space and more fit. It asks me whether I want to insert a new page or to increase the height of the page. I always insert a new page. Maybe it would save me time if I tried to always insert a I'm going to try that now. I'll choose always choose a setting. I've inserted another page, and now what happens if I do it again? Then it cut it without me having to answer the question, and that is exactly what I wanted. Excellent. And now, of course, we've got seven page documents. So, the best solution for me is to use the Add Space tool. Yeah.